Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. In this update video, we check the progress of a Polistes metricus paper wasp nest that was relocated from the wild back in May of 22. Check out our other YouTube videos for previous updates about this nest. We'll be continuing with this series as it develops in captivity throughout the season in 2022. Today is July 19th, 2022, and we offered the foundress her usual daily food of cut up mealworm today but she was not in the mood to accept the food tonight, so instead she decided to stand by and allow us to feed her baby wasps directly by hand using long tweezers. We decided to keep the feeding brief today since this was the first attempt at hand feeding this larva in this nest, and we didn't want the foundress to become agitated, but it appeared she handled it just fine. It's best to allow the foundress or the queen of the nest to do these feedings by herself after she malixates the mealworm into proper pulp for the larva, However, several of the larvae are mature enough now for us to actually feed them directly as needed as we saw tonight. As you will see, they were very hungry as usual, and they were more than happy to wolf down some mealworm as we held it for them to eat. You'll notice as we feed these larvae, each one of them is perfectly capable of eating that entire worm all by themselves, and they certainly try. So we have to share it and move it around from larva to larva, give them each a little taste. Only the mature ones, the younger ones, uh, we're not entirely sure if they're old enough to try this yet, so we kind of focused on the biggest ones in the nest. And thankfully, the foundress wasp is quite used to our presence in the habitat. She gave us no trouble at all. She was perfectly comfortable, it seemed, uh, while we were feeding the larva. So we'll probably do this in a dedicated video over a much longer time period to give you a better look at it uh, down the road. For now, we just wanted to share this clip with you because it's the first time we tried it tonight and it seems like they really enjoyed it and we hope you will enjoy the footage. I'd like to take a moment here to give a little shout out to those of you who have already subscribed. We sure appreciate you folks on YouTube. It's been a lot of fun to create this content and we're going to keep it up. So just understand that we know you're there and we appreciate it. If you've been following the other videos about this nest, you may notice that there's a new egg in one of the cells where there used to be a relatively mature looking larva. What occurred there was the foundress or queen removed the larva from that cell and malixated it and fed it to the other larva. That behavior is relatively common in the wasp world. Various species will do that occasionally for various reasons, and we have another video up about that process if you're interested in seeing what that's about. The larva that's eating now looked like it was just about ready to grab that worm from us and take the whole thing, but uh, we had to hang on and uh, try to move on to the next larva. Each one of these probably could have eaten that entire section of worm if we let them, so we just decided to share it a little bit. But in the future, we will probably come prepared to feed a lot more to each one. It was interesting that the foundress wasp, or the queen, just stayed out of the way. She just kept into the back of the nest there where she likes to tuck herself in at night to sleep. And she was just hanging out, kind of watching what was going on, but uh, certainly didn't intervene. Here we decided to let the larva actually hold on to the worm by itself just to test the strength of the larva. And they're strong. They could easily hold that worm without a problem. So... I do believe that the robust health status of this nest is going to be a good sign that it will probably do well in captivity. That one did not want to let go of the worm, as you saw. So uh, that's a good sign that they're active and they are thriving. We hope to see this continue as they grow in captivity, and we'll keep you up to date. That's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. There's more to come soon, so stay tuned and have a good one.